Welcome everyone to the distance rollback special, special experiment, experiment. Oh. A towel. <laughs> Nailed it. We can't hide from the fact that the distance rollback discussion is a huge topic in the world of golf. It's massive. You can't hide from it. It's going to affect everybody by the year of 2026. Now, what is the problem? Well, the USGA and RNA have decided that the distance is killing the game. Uh, elite golfers are destroying modern golf courses. We're at limits with golf course design, and now it's time to take action, and the golf ball has been the target. Poor sod. So you're probably saying to yourself, this is not gonna affect me, and I don't think that's entirely true. I think there's many ways this is gonna have knock-on effects in different things. I'm gonna, my opinion will be at the end of this video. We're gonna have a little bit of a test as well experiment our test in the middle of it between a modern ball and a pack I got earlier and no it's not a Strix and Divide. Inside we have many retro golf balls from all different ages, all different vintages, scab sav. So I picked a ball from the late 90s which is a kind of performance that we're looking at when this rollback has happened in 2026. We've, got for a, we've gone for a top flight plus golf ball and the reason I've chosen this is because we could have done this with a Pro V1 Modern versus a Pro V from like 1997, 1998. I know that's been done. What I wanted to do is we're going to, tr we're going to want to try different ways of getting this distance back. And maybe a late 90s distance golf ball is the way in which we do that. So we're going to head to the tee. I have to explain the format there. See you soon. format's going to be we're going to hit both shots from the tee, we pick the best one, they get the point, so for example we hit both shots, TP5X wins, point to the TP5X and we hit both shots from there, the 90s ball goes closer, that gets a point and so on. Three holes, you with me? Still with me? You there? Good, let's go. Just looking at that 90s ball makes you want to vibrate already, it brings me back to like the old commandos where it's rock hard, but it'd be interesting to see just purely on characteristics of the difference in flight, feel, an overall performance because I feel like my way of you know getting that distance back is probably going for that sort of era distance ball. Four iron, modern, lovely flight. That'll be all right that oh I just I'd literally just tap this and it feels and it sounds like a an egg. A, a rock hard hard boiled egg that's been frozen. Right. Ow! <laughs> Look at that flight. Very different, wasn't it? Came out of it a little bit as well. Old, there, didn't hit it great, so we can't, we can't really judge that, but the good thing about this test is there's gonna be multiple opportunities for this thing to do something, and then modern. So we've gotta go modern, really, haven't we? It was definitely a bit big, big difference in feel, which is pretty obvious. Right. Wedge shot in. Modern. Very nice. See that, even with a wedge, it's a little bit firmer, but it's not horrendous at all. Oh. One's close. <laughs> One's close and landed soft. <laughs> Mate, can you believe that? Both landed soft. Distance ball is closest. One, one. Mate, that must have been, where did that pitch there? Have we got a pitch mark? It was a lower flight, it was punched in. I can't find a pitch mark. This is the thing where I feel like a distance golf ball like this, could, with the modern technology, you've got the strong loss, but you've got the high launch, low CG, there's a chance for it to stop still, even with your blade. So, seeing as this uh, one, it's time to put with it. I'm not looking forward to this, I'll be honest. Oh, mate, that sounds horrendous. It's gone in. This is a hole. <laughs> that sounds like the stereotypical, the old hole noise. I've missed that sound. The 90 ball, baby. So how is distance rollback gate going to affect you? Is probably what you're going to ask. Well, 
Let's talk about how it's going to affect the elite first of all. RNA USGA want a about a 15 yard decrease on distance for the elite, the big hitters, which is a lot. That's a good few clubs. So we'll see a difference there for sure. Whether that's in purely by imparting more backspin, I'd assume so. So with that, we've got more RPM, maybe more wayward shots, more shot shaping. Could be a good thing there, that could be a good thing. So in testing currently, a robot that swings 120 miles an hour, which is roughly where I am, it's not, the golf ball is not allowed to exceed, exceed 320 yards. Now, the USGA and RNA are moving that to 127 mile an hour. It's not allowed to exceed 320 yards total distance, which is, put it in those terms, that was when I read it, I was like, wow, that is a huge difference in speed and output. So yes, big effects there for sure whether that's a positive or a negative on the viewing of golf is purely your opinion um, at the end of the day I'm, I'm 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 hoping it's going to be good but i'm i'm struggling to see the positives at the moment face. it couldn't be any more modern with this face what is this face going to do when it's got a brick on it from the 90s it's a lovely flight Wow! <laughs> okay. It's lower. Yeah, definitely lower. Wow. It, horrible. Absolutely awful. Um, satisfying though. It feels a bit more like than little. You know. You know what I mean. Fair play here, because I hit that first one terribly. It was like a dip in right, but it, it saved itself. I feel like if I'd have done that with this, it'd have gone bullet straight into the bush. So, hit this well. Didn't hit that well. And we're, I mean, Tommy, you, your choice. You're 90s? 90s one? Jeez. Honestly, I reckon modern tanked would have been up there. In fact, Tommy's going to go and see how these react because this is a very important part. Um, it's great that this rock of a golf ball's got us here, um, but that's what this is designed for. Designed for where the TP5X is meant to be good at everything. This is just good at distance. The altitude difference of those two was ridiculous. I mean, that feels horrible off the wedge. But that, um, the, because we started with the 90s, it went, st it like, it's like it started up there and came dead steep down. And that's why it probably stopped quite quickly. Yeah, it stopped pretty quickly. It didn't yeah. spin though. No, 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 no. But uh, this one would have, yeah. but I think it hit the bank, didn't it? If I, it, I mean, to, if I was to pick the, which one I prefer, it's the modern, purely because that's an uphill putt. Yeah. If, it, if it's, Distance wouldn't really matter. That could be two feet closer with the 90s ball. I still pick the yeah. <laughs> uphill putt. Good putt as well. Neither. Now, how is this going to affect the recreational golfer? Um, Tommy made a good few points. Uh, first of all, I think we're going to have a huge knock-on effect on cost. I think we're going to have loads of overheads. Obviously, the manufacturers are not happy with what's happening. Um, TaylorMade have actually come out and did a survey, 45,000 golfers. They seem to be supporting the majority. Eight out of ten golfers um, disagreed with the rollback idea. So I'm interested to see where TaylorMade go there. But TaylorMade know, all manufacturers know, they're going to have to make more than one golf ball. It's going to be a huge cost included, a huge overhead, which I feel is going to be passed down to the recreational golfer in the golf balls that we purchase. So I think cost, if you think golf balls are expensive now, I'd be very surprised if it's uh, going to stay at that. I think, I think we're going up, unfortunately. So 3-2, final hole to 90s ball. 
Um, and this is not, I'm not gonna drive This is not a driver. 90s ball first. Four iron is the club of choice. That wasn't a great strike and it's turned out pretty good. Def I definitely could tell that I'd not connected. Modern, this will be quite a fair test because we're about... I think it'd be easier to judge the flights with the shot tracers side by side than uh, seeing it in person. I would go as far as saying I struck those in pretty similar places on the face. Mm -hmm. I feel two completely different performances, two completely different feels, where this was like, oh my goodness, it still, still flew okay. It didn't fly how it felt. And then this one just was it's still towards the tail. We wanted that bit of right to left and it's trickled on a fair way. Like I say, it's a bit of fun in it. I mean, the, the best test we could do if you want to see that is a head to head ball test in the net. Purely numbers, nowhere to hide. Um, don't want to be long here, pins at the back. We're going to play for centre. It's quite a daunting second shot this because the quarry's not out of play. It should be. But as you can see, we're going over over the corner of it. Pins at the back, you can just see the top of the blue flag. We're going to go modern first because that's the winner. Very safe in the centre, that was just nice, I just, you know, can't blame the ball for that one, it was very, very safe. Oh, do you hear that? It's literally a rock, but that's gone just left of it. Definitely more of a point and click vibe. Shot, shot shaping would be interesting with that golf ball. One thing here, just pick the ball up, but look at the uh, durability of just a couple of shots compared to the modern. Crazy, isn't it? I remember my dad as a kid, my dad used to be like, oh, look at look how much I scuffed this ball. Look how much zippage I've been putting, out, putting on it. Yes, dad. Yeah, you don't, you don't get that. Durability's improved so much. I don't think that's it's something we're going to lose with the rollback. Well, I hope not, anyway. It goes left now. It goes left now. Now you go left. Oh, dear. What a putt. Get in. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge on this. I'll judge on the next one. Because that was... Oh, I've done, I've done the same anyway. Are you all right? <laughs> I can't get myself to hit that left. It goes to show that when it boils down to it, you can play well with just about any ball. I've not seen any huge distance losses, but obviously, like I say, this ball's been built for distance. <laughs> Fair. Fair. I think we should just give that one to the 90s ball. Three holes. Doesn't prove really anything, but it was good fun nonetheless, the experience. It's been a while since I've played with a ball like that. It's just fallen to pieces. Um, many pros and cons. Not many pros for this, <laughs> though. This is obviously, you can tell how far the golf balls come. Durability, feel. Um, was, was this just going to come out and be the distance monster and lose everything else? Yes. We just got lucky with a few shots. Just does prove how far the golf ball's gone, but it also proves when you're on or playing well or playing bad. It doesn't matter what ball you've got at the end of the day. The other way you've got to look at it is you could have a 1940s ball and a modern golf ball. And if you're hitting the, golf, the modern golf ball well in the wrong directions and you're hitting the 1940s ball yeah. straight and short, you're probably going to score better with the 1940s ball, but it doesn't make it a better ball. Yeah. Glad we did that. It wasn't the way I actually planned on doing it. I did want to do more of the same make from a few years back. But then I thought to myself, like I say, everyone's trying to find different ways of getting as much out of the golf game as possible, like any sport. So is a distance golf ball with performance characteristics like this one doable? Are we going to see that? We're all speculating. We don't know what the manufacturers are going to be able to produce that are that is going to be legal. All that we know is that it's going to be, on average, it's going to be 15 yards shorter for the big hitters, which is quite, it's quite a lot. 
Might have to buy something from visiting Brenda and Barbara as much, to be honest with you, if I'm shorter. I don't mind losing 15, it's more the other parts that damages. I think so many people, big hitters, I think in general, if, 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 if short hitters are losing distance, it's not going to benefit anybody anymore. The only thing it benefits is it, club selection. We're going to be seeing more long irons in and that sort of stuff, which could be a good concept viewing. But like I say, if we're playing this ball, if we're playing this ball and the elites are playing this ball, we could actually, in, if we're on, look as good and hit it further than... We're actually talking about this actually because one of the viral clips of a couple of weeks ago of Rory hitting a 400 yard green and the video went viral across all sports, loads of superstars shared it, got millions and millions of views. You're telling me when we get this rollback golf ball, great for golf, that sort of exposure. What's it going to be? Well, Rory just hit a 320 yard drive down the middle of the fairway. Let's go viral. But my, my overall thoughts are, yeah, I'm not overly fond of the idea. I think, if anything, I'd prefer all the golf balls to go back so we're still on that same level as the pros. We're not losing anything, we're not gaining anything. A whole, a whole golf game will change, but we're all, we're, all on the, we're all on the same boat. Manufacturers aren't going to produce more than one golf ball. And that, for me, would have made more sense, I think. But again, I don't know. It's all new to everybody. It's new to manufacturers. It's new to the USGA and RNA. It's all a bit. Let's just hope they know what they're doing. I'll, I'll support anything that's going to help the game if it becomes really boring. And like I say, that clip where Rory hits a green 400 yards, they don't appear on the internet anymore. But guys, thank you as always for watching. Cool little test, cool little experiment, just a bit of fun. Um, like I say, if uh, you've got the equipment, if you're playing bad, it doesn't matter what golf ball you've got. If you're playing well to a certain extent, it doesn't really matter what golf ball you've got. But I think when it comes down, down uh, Data versus data, the modern golf ball is incredible. Going back to the 90s, um, just in terms of feel and everything is, is a, is a wake-up call, that's for sure. But thanks as always for watching. If you do like the channel, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and last week on Twitch.